let's get right to the questions. There are plenty of hands up. Uh, Adam Kimmelman of NHLcut.com, lead us off. Hi, William. Uh, first, congratulations on the EJ McGuire Award. Um, second, you know, you're going to have the opportunity by whatever team drafts you to come to the NHL. Do you think you're ready to play in the NHL as soon as next season, or do you want to, do you think you need more time in Europe to continue to develop? Uh, I think it's, I, I think I have one more year in Europe and two to develop to a better player here. Thanks, Adam. Next question comes from Paul Hamilton. Go ahead, Paul. William, uh, if the Sabres uh, get a trade, they may get back into the first round for a second pick. I know, I think you're going to talk to them tomorrow, if I'm not mistaken. Um, do you know Rasmus Dahlin and Olafson, Asplund, Allmark, they have a bunch of guys from your country on the team. Do you know any of those guys? And would it make you more comfortable should the Sabres be a team that would draft you? I don't know them that good. I played against, I think I played against some of them. Uh, but I don't know, actually. I don't know about any pick or anything because I'm just seeing how, how time, time will tell. Thanks, Paul. Let's go to another Paul. Paul Stockman. Go ahead, Paul. Hi, William. I'm not sure if you've spoken uh, with the Sabres yet, but um, if you are picked by them, whether it be first or whatever, where do you see yourself potentially fitting uh, in that offense uh, sometime in the near future? And, and what do you think you bring to whatever team drafts you at this point? I want to be a, a tip, top six forward, and that's what I'm saying from from the first time. And so I'm going to be a top six forward in a team. Maybe not the first year, but uh, work myself into that spot. And I, I think I'm a player who brings like energy to the team. I want to be an offensive threat. Uh, every time I, I touch the puck, uh, I want to be yeah, a guy you can count on in, in different situations. Thank you, Paul. Next question comes from Yanni Bankston. Go ahead, Yanni. Yeah, I do this in English then. Um, <laughs> William, hey, det här är Janne Bengtsson på NHLs hemsida. Hälsa farsan sen också. Uh, um, you, um, you have a, a, a real good buddy in, uh, uh, in the Devils, Alexander Holtz. How would it be to play with him if, if the Devils, they are, they are uh, picking number four? Of course, like... He's a childhood friend that you know knew for for a long time, uh, so that would would have been cool. Cool, uh, but yeah, I don't know actually. It's I think every team will have been cool. So, uh, of of course, playing with Alex is is a dream. Thank you, Yanni. Next question comes from Lance Lasowski. Go ahead, Lance. Hi, William. You mentioned if you go back to Sweden and you play one more year there that you want to just become a better player. What specific areas of your game do you want to improve to really get yourself ready to contribute in the National Hockey League? I think I had to improve my, my shooting. Uh, I think I had to get that shot faster and, yeah, just like better in tight areas. I also had to uh, – have a better top speed. I think I'm more of a quick player than like fast in in the long term, or what you call it. Uh, so that's two things I need to really improve. Thank you, Lance. Next question comes from Brian Hedger. Go ahead, Brian. Can you guys hear me? Now we got you, Brian. Okay, sorry about that. It's, it's my internet connection. Mm -hmm. um, hey, uh, William, I'm just wondering, uh, you know, you, I see you listed as a left wing everywhere. Have you played the center position? And if so, how did that go? Did you like playing center? I played uh, both left wing and center. Uh, I like them both. Can't, it's hard to choose from which, which one I like most. Uh, but, but uh, yes, I, I played both. Thanks, Brian. Next question comes from Chris Faber. Go ahead, Chris. Hey, William, congrats on your season so far. Uh, an exciting few weeks coming up here. Uh, 
we've seen so many players and you kind of mentioned it earlier that you want to go back to Sweden for one more year to perfect your game before coming over. Is that kind of the route that you see a lot of Swedish players taking lately where they go back and they perfect their game? And do you think you'll be ready to jump in like a lot of guys have had success from the SHL? I, yeah, yeah, as you said, uh, I've seen a lot of players that come back to, to Sweden to play one more year and uh, to develop. And I think that's a good thing, uh, especially this year when we've got a good coach here coming in and uh, I think we had a great group here. Uh, but yes, I think that's, that's also good for your develop. Thanks, Chris. Next question comes from Bill Hop. Go ahead, Bill. I think you're muted, Bill. Okay, there can you, you hear me okay now? Yeah, we got you, Bill. Sorry about that. William, I mean, you made a big leap this past season. Uh, just what went into that, just having kind of a breakout year after scoring no goals, you know, you know as a 17-year-old and, 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 you know, having that output this season? Can you repeat the question? I'm sorry, just uh, what was kind of your growth this past season after, you know, scoring zero goals the year before and, and kind of having a, a breakout type season? Like what, what changed, I guess? Yeah, so uh, I think I, I improved my games around the net and how to be able to stay there for a long time. Uh, I think I scored some goals that I just what was in the right spot. And that's one thing that I, I improved is like this last year, uh, to be in the in the right spot to, to score goals. Thank you, Bill. Next question comes from Mike Mariali. Go ahead, Michael. Thanks, John. Uh, William, first, congratulations on winning the EJ McGuire Award. Uh, who, who is your favorite current or former NHL player to watch, and what qualities does he possess that maybe you try to incorporate into your game? I'm going to say my, first of all, thank you. And I'm going to say that a player I like to watch is Matthew Barthol. Uh, he's just amazing to watch. Uh, I think I try, I try to look at his, his way to, to use his edges in the corners and how, he, how fast he turns and get out with some speed. And, uh, yeah, how go, good he is at, at finding his teammates too. Thanks, Mike. Next question comes from Mark Scheig. Go ahead, Mark. You, you've had an interesting year in the sense that you've had to overcome both an appendectomy and a COVID-19 positive. Just can you put into your own words just what you're able to do to overcome those challenges to have the year that you did have? Yeah, like those things was mentally tough for me. Uh, and uh, yeah. You just have to fight through them. It's like seeing that your a season can be in many different ways. You can have a good one in the beginning there, and then this these two things come from from nowhere. So I had to work mentally uh, to be tough there. Thank you, Mark. I have time for a few more. Uh, let's go to Ryan Kennedy. Go ahead, Ryan. Thanks. Uh, hi, William. I'm just curious if you played any other sports when you were growing up and, and how long you played them for. I haven't really played other sports, actually. It's been hockey for me from the first, first day, actually. Okay, thanks, Ryan. Uh, next question, John Warrow, the Associated Press. Go ahead, John. Hi, William. Um, you mentioned Barzal, and, and I mean, he, he seems to be about the same size. We've not had a really good chance to see you play at all. But is it important for you to see how some of the smaller guys in, are, are, in speedy wingers are able to, to, to um, create and compete at the NHL level? And, and, and is that something that you, that you really look for? Yeah, like... I know I'm not going to be the tallest player uh, on the team. And I see that the game of hockey has, has changed so much over the past years and that those smaller skill, little skilled players can be really effective in the NHL too. So that's 
like it's role a role model for us. You call it a little smaller players, um, but yeah, it's just it's fun to see that uh, such a good success in the NHL. Thanks, John. Let's go back to Yanni Bankston. Go ahead, Yanni. Yeah, um, between the first year in the uh, SHL and the second year, what did you learn from the from the first year to the second year, and was it you know like your experience playing with men? Yeah, like in the first year was just was just so like just just seeing the professionals and how they work. Me coming from a junior team and just wanted to see how how every best player acts and how just it's time to learn from them and but also fight for my spot. But next year became this year became more of a also seeing those players and what they do good, but also like uh, take a place in the roster and try to beat those guys also. William, on behalf of Yanni and NHL.com Sweden, I'm going to ask you to repeat that question. It's uh, that answer in Swedish. Uh, okay. Amor. Mm. Nej, men förra året tycker jag att jag kollade mer på eh, hur, hur liksom andra spelare eh, som Josef och sådana här spelare hur, hur de var liksom, i omklädningsrummet, hur de var på, på isen ja, hur de liksom varför de var så framgångsrika eh, och sen men också liksom slåss för min plats om man ska säga um, och det här året blev det mer att man man ville göra de här grejerna också men även eh, liksom var där och slåss ännu mer för platserna och visa att man skulle ha en, en högre roll liksom i i, uh, ja, i hela Kina om man ska säga Thank you William, thank you Yanni Last question comes from Bailey Johnson Go ahead Bailey Hi, William. Just wondering if you know um, Emil Bemstrom at all. I know he played for your senior team a couple years ago, and if you've watched him play with the Blue Jackets at all. Yeah, uh, I've been meeting him uh, like a few times. He's his dad used to coach me this whole season and through the juniors too. Uh, so I know his dad very good. Um, but yeah, I, I met him a, a couple of times. Thank you, Bailey. Well, William, thanks for taking the time. Congratulations, especially on the E.J. McGuire Award. He was a special man who means a lot to a lot of us at the NHL, and that's a prestigious award to win. So congratulations. Yeah, thank you very much.